Break, break. Uh, these videos are now about uh, Gator Glide. So the one thing we have in common, the three of us, besides our good looks and excellent personalities, are we have Gator Glide on the hulls of our Wave Runners. And we did that about 18 months ago. So this is an 18 month review. So we'll look at each person's ski. Well, I'm gonna interview Danny and uh, Tracy and then I'll give you my thoughts on Gator Glide. And then you guys can make your own decisions about whether or not it's right for you. So we'll first start with Tracy. It was April of uh, wow. 22. Okay. All right, about 18 months. Yep. Yeah, 18 months. Uh, how much did it cost to put the Gator Glide on? It was 500 at the time. Yeah, all right. So I think we all paid $500. And who did it? Um, Jeff Butler? Jeff, yeah, Jeff and Jake were whoever his buddy. Okay, over in Co Coco, by Cocoa Beach. Cocoa area. Cocoa Beach, yeah. And he can be found on Facebook, I think. Yeah. So, was there any change to the ski's performance after you had it done? Not a, not a thing. Didn't notice a difference. Yeah. Not it, that I can... It handled the same, had the same top end speed, right? Yep. Okay. Uh, well, how's it held up? <laughs> Great. Not a lick on it. Okay. We'll, we'll look at it in just a second. What have you had it through in that uh, well, 18 months? You got it. any things you can talk about? I beach it all the time. You beach it all the time. Went up the beach, uh, hit a couple logs in the river in the Suwannee, hit a tree up on uh, St. Mary's. St. Mary's up on Georgia Line. Um, had it up on land. <laughs> Big old flip. You had up it up there. on land? Yeah. 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 yeah I was trying to see how far walls. I could jump. Yeah. All right. You've had it through, you probably had it through the most of any of us, right? Probably so. Okay, so let's take a look at it. What do you think it's uh, yeah. showing? Nothing. Rick was able to spot this sandbar when he went over it, but the water turned up, we couldn't see it, and we both hit it, and we stopped. Thinking it's off. Follow the trail we came in on. Rick is going to give it a shot to get on plane. Tracy uh, gets stuck in a sandbar right there, so I wait until he can clear his ski. Okay, now keep your eyes very closely on Tracy. something there. Which way do you want to go? <laughs> Two more up there and head to attraction. Should have zagged when you zigged? Yep. So we're underneath this ski right now. And had he not have Gator Glide on, there would be gouges and scratches and I don't know if there'd be a hole, but there'd be gouges yeah, and scratches. There'd be some paint on the bunkers for sure. Yeah. They had paint that went off on that. Yeah. So we got a little bit of uh or you know Gator Glide scuffs, it doesn't it doesn't crack or it doesn't uh, gouge, it just maybe scuffs a little. And that's what you have up here, probably from the sand. But yeah, it's, can't tell there's anything, uh, looks like a brand new hull. Gator Glide. So you're happy? Happy. 224 hours later, still looks like a new hull. Let's talk about you, you had the same guy do it, right? I did. Same $500? Yep, that wall. Thousand if you go with two skis. Yeah, you had two skis done. <clears throat> two skis done. All right. Tell my us main, your story. My main reasons for having it done um, one was seeing you know, all the other skis with the uh, delamination. And the, yeah, because we have the part. nano holes. Yeah, so that was that was my main concern with it. Um, the added bonuses, you hit the other stuff, it, it doesn't do much to it. Um, 
beaching it. I'm not talking David Hasselhoff 20 miles an hour on the beach, <laughs> but just pulling it up, you'd scratch it. I'm just saying that's what Tracy did the first yeah, week works. after he got the Gator Glider. We'll put that clip in too. Yeah, but um, so it, it's, it keeps it from doing any of the little bit of scratching that it would have on the beach, but the, I guess the main thing was the, uh, the delamination. Um, if it wasn't doing that, the others, the, you know, the skis that I've seen that done that, did that, um, I may not have gotten it. Right. You know, especially doing two skis. Um, but I'm glad I did it. It, uh, it hasn't changed any of the performance at all. No performance changes. No. Do you know if you have any scratches on yours I, at I all? I don't believe I do. There might be some little minor scuffs, but nothing that would have been there. All right, we're going to look at the bottom of his. Uh, just so, uh, again, it scuffs. It doesn't. Yeah. Doesn't uh, take a cloth to it, it might even wipe out. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, no, he's been through probably 150 hours since then. They all look the same, but it's slick. I, I gotta leave it running. Not this today, I didn't have to, and I had trouble getting it off. Normally, I don't. Yeah, I think we got to mention that when the Gator Glide is brand new, I, I had a terrible time putting the ski back on the trailer until I realized, yeah, like you just said, I got to keep it in forward on the wave runner at idle. So it stays on the trailer until I hop off and hook up that front bow strap. Now, like uh, Danny says, it's hit or miss depending on the ramp, depending how slick everything is, but Gator Glide will definitely uh, slide you right off the trailer. Yep. See, so with the Gator Glide on the bottom, Tracy's able to just uh, essentially let her go. And he just normally just pushes it out into the center lake and we, we uh, shuttle him out to it. Now he's an expert at it. He, he takes it off to the trailer by hand, turns it around, and acts like a friggin' pro. Uh, but there's a chance he could fall. And then he gets on and rides it out. We do it all again? Yep. I'd do it again. Sure. Alright. And I've been through... Um, a sandbar at 25 miles an hour the same one that Tracy was through and my gator glide wasn't cured all the way so remember it scuffed up around the uh, skid plate in the back yep. and I had to have it reapplied Jeff reapplied it and I haven't had a I haven't had any problem since and would I do it again yeah for the adventure skiing that we do here in Central Florida <laughs> we're just pushing limits like you probably saw in our last video where we're just on a nice no stress lake and all of a sudden we're we're in 1.8 feet of water i've got stuff sucked up and then we're reading a sign that says there's a concrete bottom all right well very good thanks for the uh, testimonial i have no idea if i'm stuck as well but you're in less than 12 inches of water we're in 12 inches of water right there. That's about two inches of water right there. Log right there. Either hit a log or an alligator. Well, I think you can see the problem set facing us right now. Mud spring, all of a sudden, it looks like you're about ready to run over grass and it's still weed or or whatever and I sort of knew it might be there but it still throws you off and I did not want to suck anything up and have to climb in that water because I'm sure there were gators in there so I kept going about medium speed and then near the end I gave it some gas and I just wanted to get to the dock real quick before something got sucked up because there were plants and flowers <laughs> floating on top of the water the whole way there success all right, let's take a look at the underside of my ski. Hardly anything there. A little rub there. But essentially it looks brand new. A little rub there. But again, it doesn't go through. And the nano hull. If there's any hole that needs this, it's the nano hull. The 19 through 21. Yamaha wave runners. It's just it's just not the best haul. So I guess in summary, you got all of us saying that it was worth the money, a little bit pricey, but it was worth the money. It's held up well. We do it again. We don't have any regrets. 
no performance changes with the ski. I'm glad I got it, I don't regret it, and I'm sure the person I sell this ski to in the future will be happy to have it. Okay, that's the 18 month review on the application of Gator Glide, uh, our Wave Runner. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video. Take care, bye bye.